This is your brain. Now I want to teach you what happens with your brain when you get a coffee. Hi, my name is Brian Hefflinger. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon with over 25 years of experience. And I want to teach you really quick about the brain using coffee as an example. So these orange looking structures in the front here, these are called your frontal lobes. And they are in charge of reasoning, logic, making decisions. And so let's pretend we're in the mall and you see a coffee shop and you're debating, you know, should I get a coffee? God, you know, I, I've had so much coffee, I'm trying to cut down on it. Um, should I spend the money? Well, you're trying to make that decision. That's your frontal lobe here helping you make that decision. But, you know, coffee's so good, you decide I'm gonna go have that coffee. So you go into the coffee shop, you're looking at the menu and you have to interpret what's up on that menu. So there's a part of your brain here in the back of your brain called the occipital lobes, the beige areas, and they house the visual cortex. So that's the part of your brain that when you're looking at that menu, that visual information is coming in and it's helping you interpret what you're seeing. So you looked up there, man, nah, maybe a, a mocha sounds good, a, a mocha drink. So you're gonna get a mocha, you saw it on the menu, you used your frontal lobes here to help you decide, yep, that's what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a mocha. So they, they make that coffee, you're waiting, you're anticipating it, you get the coffee, you pick it up and wow, it's hot. You feel the hotness of that coffee. Well, there's a part of your brain called, um, it's in the parietal lobe and it's the sensory cortex. So this gray area all is your parietal lobe. The sensory cortex is the dark blue and that's in the front part of your parietal lobe. That's the part of your brain where all your sensory information comes in. So when you pick that coffee up and it feels hot, it's your sensory cortex interpreting it. Um, when you're drinking it and you feel the warmth in your mouth and how good it tastes, that's because you're interpreting it through your sensory cortex. Well, that information from the sensory cortex now goes into this red part, which is in, is in the back of the frontal lobe, and that's called the motor cortex. And your motor cortex is what allows you to pick that coffee cup up and drink it. So it's in charge of the motor actions. So you're drinking your coffee. It's really good. You left the coffee shop and you're thinking, God, I love coffee and you remember how good that coffee is. Well, how do we remember that? Because there's a part of your brain called the temporal lobe, which is the yellow area, and the temporal lobe is where we house memory. And so the next time you're thinking of having coffee and you see a coffee shop and you're remembering how good that coffee is, that's thanks to your temporal lobe because it's helping you remember that you like coffee.